When you hook this, this machine goes under the counter. This part here hooks into here. And all you do is turn the machine on to the setting you want. And you're going to leave it on antioxidant, I guarantee it. Every time you, you turn that, this little, right here, you turn this on, you're going to get the alkaline water out of here, you're going to get the acidic water out of here, and this light will blink, blink, blue. Blink, blink, that means you're getting the correct machines in the correct mode to work. When you turn this off, this light blinks red. Because every time all of our machines turn off, we go through about a 30 second backwash to make sure that there's no scale built up on the plates. But every 40 liters, then it goes into a wash cycle and there's a little music playing, but if it's under the counter, you can't see it. So what? That light right there blinks red. Blink, blink. So you can see it as it's washing itself. Once it stops washing, it goes right to blue and you're ready to go. So this, and look at this, we made this out of anodized metal. It's not chrome, it's beautiful. That'll fit in the most beautiful new sinks. And all you do, this is a standard size hole that is used for all appliances. You buy one of those water faucets or you, whatever you have. And most sinks have the hole all ready to go. If not, you just build like a, you drill like a one inch hole in your sink. This goes into it and away you go. Now, you don't want this whole big thing up there. Okay, you want something smaller. We have this, and this is designed to use above the sink where you have the two hoses going on to here, but this is put into your sink. Somebody says, you know, I've got a designer sink. I've got this terraza, whatever it's called, uh, marble countertop. You're not doing You know, the wife says, drill a hole. And the husband goes, I'm not drilling a hole in that sink. That ain't gonna happen. We're not drilling. I, I spent a lot of money on that stuff. Guess what? We have a solution. We're the only ones that carry this solution. It's right here. Okay. This is really popular. This, the ionizer plugs into this, okay? Then your cord here plugs, plug here, comes out, goes into the wall. This goes between the two. What do you have? You have your own tank. You take this off, you fill this full of water, tap water. You can put this in your refrigerator. Many people buy two of these. Keep one in the refrigerator or two of them. You take it out, you just stick it on top of here, put it down just like that, lid on or off, doesn't matter. Okay, now remember, it's, this base stays hooked up. This is separate. You push that button right there, there's a pump in here. It pumps the water from this into the ionizer, turns it on, you get ionized water out of that. It is so clean. It is so perfect because you don't have to hook to anything. You can take your ionizer and put it on your bar that has no water. Put it in your, anywhere you want because all you have to do is find a water source and put water in here. And it even shows you on the side here how much water you have in it. This has really helped us because why do we develop this? People want ionized water. I mean, they're hooking them up in their, in their laundry rooms. They're hooking them up in their bathrooms because they don't want to mess up their beautiful sink. Well, with this, they can be proud of their ionizer on their sink. They have this on there, and they can make cold ionized water. Wow, what an innovation. So we really are proud of this one. And it really allows you to use the ionizer without a water source.